Hey there, how are you? I'm a big fan of working smart, not hard. And the other day I was asked for a requirement that was the perfect opportunity to put that motto into practice. My name is George Daniel and in this video I'm going to show you how to leverage Copilot, SQL and Fetch XML to do the heavy lifting for you. Let's start with the requirement. The user needs to filter activities by the type appointment and see whether those appointments are online or in person. For those less familiar with activities, these are tables like email, phone calls or appointments as in the current scenario. That can be associated with a number of entities such as accounts or contacts. There is also an umbrella table, the activity table, that sort of stitches it all together. Now, if you go into edit columns, you will find that the appointment table is not there and that you can't add the field that lets you know if the meeting is online or in person. Also, if you go down the advanced find route, you will be disappointed. So, what to do? By now, I already knew I was going to need Fetch XML Builder by Jonas because it allows you to create new system and personal views that aren't possible to create using the user interface. Crazy good feature that one. Link in the description and a big thank you for the great tool. But I'm not an XML guy and I'm much more comfortable with SQL. Enter SQL for CDS by Mark. Another awesome tool made available to the community. Again, link in the description and a huge shout out to Mark. With SQL for CDS, I can connect to the underlying database and query it much like I would with management. Now, to raise the work smart motto just another knot, I started this in Copilot and I asked it to write me a SQL query to join the activity and appointment table. And it did! With that, I just had to tweak it a little bit so that it showed the fields I wanted and I ran it in SQL for CDS and it worked perfectly. As you can see. Now, one of the great features of SQL for CDS is that you can convert your SQL query into patch XML. And so I did. Convert patch XML. Then I turn to Fetch XML Builder and I ran the query and BAM! It worked! There you are! Finally, I saved it as a new system view. Right here. Save, view as and give it a good name. And the result is this one crazy crazy good stuff i had a great time making this video and i hope you've enjoyed it as well please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you soon